what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Kyle, aka Headhunter Sucker. If you've been here for a long time, or as you know me now as the LSOB. What is going on, everybody? I'm here to talk about a couple things today. I want to talk about one. I took a vacation here uh, about three weeks ago to Houston with my little brother. I want to talk about that, and I plan on talking about different things in terms of YouTube, gaming, and then the fitness side of YouTube and how they're starting to come together, which is kind of pretty neat seeing it happen um, as I've watched YouTube over the past five, six years where more or less you just saw gaming and now you've seen fitness rise and now you're seeing them come together, which is pretty neat. So let me go ahead and jump into it. Uh, about three weeks ago, I took a trip to Houston with my little brother, um, as you guys know him as Lit Times 2 or Byzymes. Uh, he was in Wichita, Kansas for about six months on a co-op because he's in school right now um, at the University of Cincinnati because we're from Cincinnati, Ohio. If you didn't know that. So he's going to school for IT and cybersecurity, which is pretty neat. Um, he was out working for an aerospace company, and he was 12 hours away from home. And my little brother is one of like my best friends, not to get emotional real quick, but uh, not being able to see him for six months kind of sucked, especially uh, with me going through some personal things that I went through uh, during that time. So as we got closer to... July, the end of July, when he was coming home, I was talking to him and was like, hey, you know, you think about a vacation, you you want to go somewhere? He was like, yeah, that's cool, you know, where do you want to go? When, you know, we were thinking about Miami, Florida, or Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, you know, going somewhere, one of those two places. Um, and then I brought up the idea of Houston, because I was going to try to take him to Houston back in March. I flew out to Wichita, Kansas, and stayed with him for a week, and we were supposed to go to Houston then. Uh, but neither one of us, the funds kind of weren't there at the time. We were going through some different things and, you know, trying to make sure money was right. So we didn't actually do it. So this time, you know, I kind of talked him into going to Houston and I wanted to do it um, kind of more or less as a surprise and take him to get some, see some things that he wanted to see um, that was in Houston. That was the reason why we were going to go back in March. So actually what ended up happening is we go to Houston, we fly down there, uh, and I tell him, I said, let's go to the Alpha Elite Gym. So for those of you who don't know, the Alpha Elite Gym is owned by Christian Guzman. Um, he is a YouTuber, a fitness YouTuber, and he also has his own clothing brand called Alpha Elite, uh, which is pretty big compared to uh, Gymshark. I think in the fitness world, if you were looking between the two brands, those are the two biggest ones on top of the fitness world right now. Probably, I would say, Alpha Elite's probably going to surpass Gymshark here in the next maybe six to eight months if they already haven't, which I think that they have personally. Uh, but uh, just his brand and what he believes in, he's 24 years old and he's self-made. He started on YouTube as a fitness vlogger um, and now he's kind of made himself into uh, something pretty big. So it's pretty cool to see. We got to go down there. We met him. Uh, we met some of his athletes, took some pictures with him. It was pretty cool. My brother's face, I've never seen him smile so big. Um, he, the, I think that made his whole trip. So that that was pretty cool. Um, and that kind of got me, you know, thinking about today's topic in terms of like gaming and then fitness. Because um, one, obviously, we're a gaming channel, and then two, uh, fitness is pretty big in the world today. So I I just kind of wanted to talk about that and what is making them come together. At least my thoughts of it, uh, because you're seeing now a lot of YouTubers that play video games are big into fitness, like these guys are jacked, like ripped beyond belief, like they look like they could be models along with working in YouTube, and I'll kind of talk about uh, what I think is going to happen, so I'll go ahead, let me go ahead and jump into that. So I think, you know, with YouTube and fitness and, and gaming and what what's going into that, so obviously in today's world and what people are wanting to watch is they're wanting to watch live streams, that is the number one demanded thing on the entire market right now and a lot of people got popular based on face cams and different things like that because you can actually see the reaction which is you know that's pretty cool you get to see that stuff and you get to watch them react to video games and how their facial features react so that's a brings a whole nother element to gaming but you know we think about gaming as the guy who may be on his mom's couch in the basement or somebody that's not fit or that's out of shape like there's all those stereotypes with it right 
And over the past maybe three, four years, fitness has become so big in the entire world. And people got on YouTube and started vlogging and talking about their regimen, talking about what they eat, how they diet, all that sort of stuff. And I think it's pretty cool how these big YouTubers are doing that now too. Like you've got Optic and you've got FaZe. That, I mean, Optic has their own fitness channel. And then FaZe has got a lot of streamers who are actually into fitness. Like a lot of those guys that face cam their streams and stuff like they're pretty fit looking at them um and it seems to be that they're i mean they even do vlogs every once in a while a couple of them so which is pretty neat so i think there's a monetary value behind that and i also think that there's a personal reason behind that one i think today's generation especially people in my age in which most of these guys are that are playing are in their you know 20s like 20 to 27 all the way up to 30 you know you got some older guys on there that have been playing video games for a while and they've been on youtube since back in the golden days uh, when youtube kind of first started and gaming first started and got big but i think fitness became big a couple years ago when youtube hit that spike and you know the brand like gymshark jumped out and some of these fitness vloggers jumped out like i mean christian's one of them he's one of the first ones that ever started so these guys are kind of doing it, I think, to hit another market, uh, which is like in terms of people that watch the videos, which I think is pretty cool because now you're seeing you know, people my age watch these guys play games and then talk about their daily lives or fitness, whatever it may be, because they're more like us. They're not like you know somebody that's a the typical gamer, that stereotyped gamer. They're somebody that can relate to their audience. And you know, I also see a lot of little... Younger people, kids even, they can relate with them and then they can re relate with the older guys like myself who just graduated college or in college and still play video games and maybe even be fit. Um, and I think that's part of it is that. And then I think the other thing is for their own personal image, um, you know, being more confident in yourself is going to help yourself even be able to talk about things on YouTube. It may be better for you to put a cam up. You're more confident in you. Um, because if you look good, you feel good, right? Like you, it's all back to that saying, and I think that has a lot to do with it too. Um, because you never know too who you're gonna meet online. Like these YouTubers, you know, watching them, some of them date, some of them collab, all that sort of stuff. Because there's female YouTubers out there now that are really big. Um, and they, I mean, that's been going on for a long time. So I think a couple of those things play into it. Um, I don't know. Maybe give me your thoughts on why you think fitness and, and gaming come together but i think it's pretty simple i think that's all it comes down to so hope you guys enjoy enjoyed today's video a little bit of personal story about me um and then you know hopefully drop a like subscribe hit that notification bell i'm gonna be dropping commentaries twice a week um low green clover and um lit will be dropping various different things as well so you're gonna see about six videos a week from now on i hope you guys enjoy uh, we'll see you on the next one peace